United Blue United Manchester United 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 not under pressure to deliver as it stands now liverpool are under more pressure than we are yeah because do what they have to do not to drop points we just have to do what we are doing to get more points hello everybody i'm otis and this is everything football Welcome to our Arsenal vs Liverpool post-match reaction. I have a friend today, his name is Gideon, he's a die-hard gunner. Um, welcome Gideon, it's a pleasure to have you on the channel. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for having me on Everything Football. I think it's my pleasure being here to you know, talk about the Arsenal-Liverpool game. Wow, what a game, what a game it was. Alright, so Arsenal beat Liverpool 3-1. It was a statement victory. Um, goals courtesy of Saka, yeah, and then a, um, a breakdown in communication between Van Dyke and Ederson saw Martinelli got them um, get that second goal, and then that beautiful run from Trossard, yeah. So you guys are two points away from uh, the top of the league. The title charge is on, yeah. So let's get your reaction on the game. Okay, first of all, I I was talking with a friend before the game. I told I told that friend, I said Martinelli is going to get a goal because Martinelli owns Liverpool. And you know, my boy did it again. He got a goal. People might say it's it's a defensive error, but it is what it is. We got a goal and we got a goal. Yeah. Now the title challenge is on for us now. We just need to keep winning, keep doing what we're doing, not under pressure to deliver. As it stands now, Liverpool are under more pressure than we are. Yeah. Because they have to do what they have to do, not to drop points. We just have to do what we are doing to get more points. Yeah. Title challenge is on already. Then something else I'm also looking at. We are not underrating what Man City can do because they also have two games at hand. Yeah. So I'm also still going to see back and watch what we do with the games they have at hand and i believe i believe i hope for the best though at the end of the season hopefully arsenal is the trophy all right hopefully arsenal does not bottle it but then let me get your man of the match who was your man of the match uh it's a it's a it's kind of a difficult one to to give or to call because if you look at it saliba did well it's he has always been he has always been giving a 100 this season but then again somebody i would like to give a shout out to that people are not saying what he did that he didn't put any foot out wrong this jacob kiwo you know what watching the game every decision he made was right he defended very well after the check was being substituted Every foot Jacob Kiwa put was right and absolutely right. He's won on some field in this match. Then again, judging who, judging who, what a man, what a guy. His passes were just accurate and he had most, I think he had the, the most touches in the game. Most passes in the game. He, and he's someone else, you know, when, when you look at Asna's uh, squad, He's someone that can easily be underrated because of his physicality. But this match, that physicality comes into play. Georgie Ho was outstanding. Was outstanding. Then, like I also say, Kayavat did well. Even if he did, the goal Saka scored was supposed to be Kayavat's goal. But normally, we won the game, so I won't dwell on Kayavat. Uh, my man of the match, I'll still give it to Georgie Ho. Okay. So now, uh, moving forward for the rest of the season, what would you want Ateta to improve on going forward? You get to play West Ham next, so what improvement do you want Ateta to do? Uh, I'm looking at, I, I think I prefer a squad rotation. Saka should get some rest. I was so happy when he was substituted and Wisnessy came in. And if you could see the energy Wisnessy came in with, then in, there was instant pressure on Liverpool defence and you know they had to be on that tools for Wisnessy. You know, I think Saka should. Uh, what I feel we should do is there. What I feel we should do, look at some of the players that are having a bad game. 
respect to Saka and everything he has done, but I think he deserves some rest at a particular time in the game. Nelson should also be given a chance. Mitro should be given a chance also. Then I also feel I have a feeling like Eddie has been on the bench for a while. Even if many people are not a fan of Eddie, but he should be given his flower because when we needed him the most, he showed up for us. Yeah. Many people want to dispute that fact, but I'm not a fan of Eddie, but he has done well. He has done well for the act that he won Gabriel Jesus is out. Then so Gabriel Jesus is going to be back as well because uh, after the match I, I got to learn that the injury is not uh it's not uh it's not a long term one, it's a minor injury, so he'll be back for hopefully he'll be back for West Ham game. And I also have a feeling that I think it's time, respect to Thomas Party, I think it's time we move on to. Alright, so the title charge is on. Thank you, Gideon, for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you on the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're looking forward to having you in subsequent sessions, you know. Yeah, hopefully after the West Ham game, I'll be up. Alright, bro. Alright. Kindly do well to smash a like on this video, hit on the subscribe button if you've still not subscribed. I'll say that again kindly subscribe to our channel if you still have not subscribed share our videos follow us on our other social media handles the link it will be on the description of this video so we'll see you again we remain everything football